For the right triangle below, find the measure of the angle in degrees to the nearest hundredth. Our goal is to find the measure of this angle here. Let's call this angle theta. And now let's determine the opposite side, the adjacent side in the hypotenuse in relation to angle theta. So because this is the angle theta, the opposite side is this side here with length of six units. The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle because this is the right angle. This side here is the hypotenuse. Notice how it has an unknown length. And the adjacent side of angle theta is the side of the angle that's not the hypotenuse. And therefore, this is the adjacent side of angle theta. And notice how it has a length of eight units. And then because our goal is to find the measure of angle theta, and we're given the length of the opposite side and the adjacent side, we will use the tangent function to determine the measure of angle theta. This is because tangent theta is equal to the ratio of the length of the opposite side to the length of the adjacent side. So using our right triangle, we now know that tangent theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which gives us six eighths, which does simplify because six and eight do share a common factor of two. Six eighths simplifies to three fourths. So now we know that tangent theta is equal to three fourths, but our goal is to solve this equation for theta, and therefore we need to undo the tangent function by taking the inverse tangent or arctangent of both sides of the equation. Let's take the inverse tangent of both sides. On the left, inverse tangent of tangent theta simplifies perfectly to theta because inverse tangent and tangent undo each other. This gives us theta equals inverse tangent of three fourths. And now we'll need to go to the calculator and get a decimal approximation for angle theta in degrees to the nearest hundredth. The first step is to make sure the calculator is in degree mode by pressing the mode key. And notice how here degree is highlighted. If degree was not highlighted, we would use the arrows to go down to degree and press enter. And now we go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit, and we enter inverse tangent three fourths. If we press second tangent, we do get inverse tangent and then we enter three divided by four, close parenthesis, and enter. Notice how there is a nine in the thousandths place value or the third decimal place, and therefore we round up. Theta is approximately 36.87 degrees. I hope you found this helpful.